Hey guys, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. Today I wanted to put out a short tutorial video for how to add the slideshow in Rebrickable on your uh, mock pages. So I'm going to be using my Red Barn mock for the example and um, basically I just have a few more renders that I want to add to this listing. Right now it's just got the one photo and I've come across a couple of places in uh, comments on here where people were saying um, they weren't sure how to do this and it is discussed in the frequently asked question bar but there's a lot of stuff in there to read through so I just wanted to put out a video that focuses on how to get this accomplished um, what you're going to need to do is use the BrickSafe website and this is just kind of a cloud hosting site it is um, connected to Rebrickable in the sense of who worked on it. So BrickSafe is brought to you by the creators of Rebrickable, um, very closely tied together these two sites, um, kind of designed to work with each other. And as you can see, I use it quite a bit for most of my other mocks on here. Um, so yeah, to just get this started, I'm going to be going to the upload tab. And the first thing I'm gonna do is select the uh, zero files, which is the base kind of uh, starting place and then create a new page for the barn uh, mock. So I'll just call this red barn page. Um, you can put little notes in the description if you want, but it's not required. And then it is going to show you what the URL looks like. Basically it removes spaces and uh, hyphenates everything. So I'm going to create this new page and now when I go to upload I can select the red barn folder and it is currently empty uh, now that I have a page created I can just drag and drop whatever renders I want to add so I'll bring those in um, these are just PNG files they're not super large so it's gonna upload them pretty quickly alright they're all good to go and now when I go to my pages I should be able to find the red barn folder with all three images. So this is good. It actually gives you um, hyperlinks to different sizes of these pictures. But to make a slideshow on Rebrickable, I need the hyperlink for this page. So I'm going to come up to the URL bar up here, copy that with Control C, and then go back to my red barn mock page. I'm going to go to the admin tab, and this is where you can edit all the details for your mock. You can change the name, uh, the theme, all of your description. Um, if you have a video you want to add, you can do that right here. But to put in the slideshow, you're going to find the more details URL, URL right here. And then there's a tip. It says use a public brick safe page to get a gallery of your photos displayed with the mock. So this is where you copy in the brick safe page you can see that red barn right at the end right here and it even gives you a little preview so once you have that uh, copied in you want to click on save changes and now when you go back to the mock details reload the page there is our slideshow with the three images we had in the brick safe folder and this should just automatically rotate through uh, every couple seconds if you yeah, there we go. So yeah, I just added a render of the removable floors and then a little cutaway view um, to show people a little more of what's going on. The main image is still the one that I had selected and this is just kind of with the background and everything. So the, this is what people see when they search uh, for a barn and this comes up in the results. And then if they actually click on this uh, mock itself, they can see some of the interior shots and that's what I didn't have on here before so that has just been added in with the BrickSafe folder It's pretty straightforward um, they give you plenty of um, data for your quota so I'm still at 1% used and I've I've uploaded um, several folders worth of pictures and you know medium-sized pictures they're not tiny they're not huge so uh, I find that there's there's plenty of room to continue uploading stuff here. So yeah, the BrickSafe site kind of coupled with Rebrickable 
does give you this option to put in a little slideshow and then when people click on these it actually takes them to the BrickSafe folder itself and this is where you can actually um, zoom in to the images and download them if you want. So that's it guys, short little tutorial for how to add this slideshow in. If you've seen this on Rebrickable and you weren't sure how to do it, uh, like I said, it is fully detailed in the Frequently Asked Question page, um, but there's quite a bit to go through in here. So something to read when you have some downtime, otherwise um, just get straight to the point with a tutorial today. So thanks for watching, we'll see you guys around on Brick System Brothers.